Happy New Year from Strong's Garage. Yeah, you and Matt. Jim here. January 1st. Yeah, New Year. Same is, is projects. Is it January 1st? No, it's the second today, but uh, <laughs> okay. we're getting there. Yeah, the same. Uh, they just run into the other one another. Yeah. 2023, though, hopefully it's a great year. Hopefully everybody had a good New Year's. And um, Santa came when we weren't at the shop and dropped off a package for Jim. Oh, yeah. He snuck in a little late, I guess. Uh, his, uh, Too heavy. Yeah. So uh, Jim <laughs> cut a dropped axle for his Model A that he's been waiting for, and that's been the hold up the whole time. Yeah, that's the only reason I haven't been, uh, you know, dragging my feet and <laughs> finding other projects just to fill the void until the drop axle showed up. I'm gonna wheel the old front end out yeah. and assemble the complete rebuilt front end with the dropped axle and new tires. Yeah. And we're gonna wheel it out under the chassis, but I think it'll be a two-part video because it's, well, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Yeah. A lot of taking apart grease scraping and whatnot. Anyway, let's go put a brand new front end under this car. Come on. Good project, you must disassemble to reassemble. Yeah, yeah, it's all got to come apart, and so it's getting there. And uh, Jim got that Santa delivery that we're gonna do. So, oh, yeah. the first thing you gotta do is completely disassemble the entire front end. Now, there already are no brakes inside of here, so but we're gonna do it take the wheels off, spindles, backing plates, completely break down this whole Model A front end here in a short few minutes. Yeah. So. Like magic in front of your eyes. Yeah, so let's get it all apart and then we'll start putting it together with our new pieces. This looks like an old Ford hubcap, doesn't it? But uh, perhaps we booled you. <laughs> so J.C. Whitney or some aftermarket Ford licensed everything, so you'll see these bool or sometimes fool hubcaps. Perhaps fool would be more fitting. Yeah, right? But no, the Ford font and... Uh, and bool away. <laughs> bool away. And so, pretty neat tires. The guy painted these white walls on and painted them on both sides. And then uh, painted his drums white as well, so... Just what you can see. Yeah, just what you can see. But I believe that's original paint right there, folks. Yeah, really nice. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. See, this guy here was not a believer in front brakes. And, uh, well, probably judging by those winter tires on it, winter time he didn't like losing his steering, or perhaps he was used to tees with only rear braking and he thought, to heck with it. But, uh, no, this all looks really nice. Unfortunately, these bearing races look too good. Okay, so these Ford uh, backing plates need to come off before we can get the kingpin out because they kind of sweep over the kingpin. And that's an oh, a grease slinger there, that little circular thing there, yeah. yeah so there's four catcher. bolts inside there that'll take the whole thing off, so they're kind of a bugger, but we'll persevere. Perfect. They break it down to its core components. These Ford early style tie rod ends, they uh, are adjustable and rebuildable. They have a spring in them and a couple of cups and a round ball that they sit on. So as long as your balls aren't flat, rebuildable. No troubles, yeah. Flat balls. Ah, uh, yeah. Looks like somebody's been in this one. Yeah, instead of a cotter pin, it's some sort of a... Hay wire. Yeah, hay wire. 
or mechanics wire, depending. Yeah, farming wire, trucking <laughs> wire. <laughs> and through the use of our beautiful tool here, the old Herbrand. Herbrand, yeah. 193, multi square and flat. Just get in here. Gently apply some pressure. <laughs> and away you go. Well, there it is. Perfect. See in there, you've got your cups. Mm -hmm. The ball here. And Good the question. grease seal. The grease seal. This ball's still fairly round. Good. That's a, another thing to look out for a lot of times with Model A Fords, uh, just in general, is that, yeah, this ball will wear, but the steering arm will also wear in the spindle because these are bolted on. So you got one on this side and one on that side. And uh, sometimes they get kind of honed out inside here and they get loose, but this one looks pretty good still. But yeah, there. Decent ball. Carry on. Perfect. On to the next one. There we go. Three. Now, Jim Perfect. is free to take the kingpin out and we'll be able to rebuild that. Yeah, simply got this tapered bolt here which uh, holds the kingpin in. Loosen that off. Punch it out the other side, and away we go. That's also a steering stop for those playing along at home. There it goes. Oh, the bushing fell right out. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, that was an easy way to get to Let's it. hope the spindles aren't ruined. Oh, yeah. They're a little loose. <laughs> oh, great. That's okay. We got a few. Uh, hopefully, we can pick from the pick pile. Pick the litter, yeah. yeah. Get the prize pig. <laughs> now, well, this might be a, uh, Sometimes these are in there like you can't believe. We're going to get the uh, puller, it works pretty good. Yeah, we might as well just use the puller. We can try a new tool. Hey, new tool. tool. Yeah. All right, so stuck kingpin, kingpin puller set. See the rust zone. Yeah, she's there. It is the old kingpin out and about. As you can see, they have the little dome mushroom on top for running our brake rods through the, the hole, and the spindle is free. Beautiful. Now we clean it all up. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, <laughs> <laughs> my Sunday best. Hey, now just the same thing to the other side. Time to spread the spring. Spread the spring, exactly. We get our uh, Porter Power here. Porter Ferguson, Porter Power. Porter Ferguson, yes. Neat old thing. Very cool. Our deco. Yes, the bullet-shaped machine. Now you can use a spring spreader. I find these these uh, little uh, wedge things work perfectly with an unreversed spring. Slide that in as such. Give a little bit of tension. Get her out of here. Swipes here. It should do it. Whew. 
It looks like this one is some sort of aftermarket deal. Yeah, rubber, rubber bushings. Probably the same time they did the white paint on the wheels. Oh yeah. <laughs> Put in. That's the beauty of the rubbers. Okay. Shackles are removed. Now these perch pins are buggered up. They're worn out. And that one's got it broken off. This is where the shock link mounts. So that we're going to retain uh, lever shocks on this eventually. So, And it's going to continue to have mechanical brakes. So we're going to need Model A perch pins. So we just have to get these out. We'll give this axle a flip. All right. For ease of uh, existence. Pins out. Oh yeah, it's coming out. Couldn't ask for a better uh, removal. So now this will be uh, over here and try and give it a hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna be standing up vertically here and just. Uh, oh, yeah, that's tight, eh? There. Oh, well. No, just leave your little bit on there and you see oh, I doubt yeah. it. You never know. Usually these are the hardest part to get out of any front end. Here I'll help you out. Oh, there you go. Use gravity again. Yeah. No. Okay, well we'll have to press those out. That's okay. Too short. I have to put it. Might need to heat it. Give her another stroke, yeah, I guess. Give her 18 tons of fury. <laughs> One more. Okay, good. I'm just going to grab a hammer with a shock.
Yeah. It is. Wish bones. Make a wish. You want one side? <laughs> well, I think my wish came true. We got it apart. So. There you go. Well, before we uh, carry on putting this thing together, we thought it'd be neat to show some of the parts we got for this particular car, which is uh, Jim's. The perch pin. As you can see, the old ones were uh, well used. Paper thin on the edge. And the ball's gone. And uh, this one, for whatever reason, the ball has been torched off, which uh, I plan to run shocks, so yep. I need the ball. So our friend Terry there uh, had some stuff, so he sold us these NOS ones, which I thought we'd show before we get them cleaned up and put in the car. They have the little paper tags. This one was a dollar. And uh, yeah, they're original Ford ones. They got brand new bushings in them. So that's pre-done right from the factory. Never had a nut on it. So it should just be a plug and play type situation. Yeah, we'll add a little bit of uh, anti-seize on them. Yeah. So that the next guy. He doesn't have trouble. More than likely might be me. <laughs> and then we have uh, uh, kingpins that we bought off Terry. Some nice uh, new old replacement stock ones. Then we also got these beautiful NOS factory Ford ones here in the box for a later date. A lone original Ford one for 35, 36 Ford, which is neat. So we find the mate. Andy, yeah. <laughs> uh, three outer wheel bearings, NOS. So yeah, your cup. It's always nice to get a few things. You got an oil pump drive gear that works on like a B model, and an NOS condenser for a uh, four-cylinder 32 to 34, just because it was in the original box and made right, fit right, last longer. Ford. There you have so it. So before we painted them up and cleaned them up, thought we need to show them in the raw. Yeah, we'll show and tell. So here they are, the axles. Yes, the axles. Well, this is the stock axle from Jim's car. And this is our new axle we're going to be putting in. This drop. So As you can see, it's going to lower it just that much. All right, we got brand new axle here, yeah. which is a dropped axle, but it's an original Ford Model A axle that's been heated and stretched here by a fellow in uh, BC, by a guy named Jeremy at Victory Rod and Custom, I believe. Yeah, he does a very nice job. We thought about reversing the eye on the spring, which we can do, but we'll see how it fits right now because Jim's going to keep the 19 inch wheels on the front. So we yeah. can always just quickly take it apart and reverse the eye if we decide it's not low enough. Right, well, let's get this thing uh, bolted to its wishbone. All right. So I believe the, uh, the front, the axle, are the, uh, not the bolt stops. So, That's right. Yeah, yeah, so we'll just Plug this into the taper here and it appears to be the right way. Perfect. So what we're gonna what we did is we didn't paint the wishbones, they're original paint still. We had to paint the axle, so we just uh, did a nice semi-gloss black on the axle and the perch pins. Yeah. But the rest of the original paint is cleaning up awesome. This original paint backing plate should it should look really nice and untouched when it's yeah. all together. So right now let's get this. The bone's on. Perfect. Are they going to fit through there? Ah. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's get some copper coat. And a, you got right it? There, man. Okay, we're set. All right. So these will go in from the bottom then. You want those? One from the bottom. Okay, we're going to do this upside down because it hangs a little better. Yeah, so I'll pass you. Oh, we'll just yeah, flip this over. Okay, like that. Ooh. Okay, beauty. Oh wow. Here I can go down. Sometimes easier to bugger. Okay. Better. Get this side out here. There we go. Perfect. Got this one started, so this one thing that's nice to do when you're putting these together is just run a little bit of copper coat on the shank. So hopefully if you ever have to take it apart again, you won't have to heat, heat it and press it and heating. fight and every other thing. And if it's not you, maybe 50 or 100 years from now, somebody will go, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I wish I could have bought that guy the ears. <laughs> so slip this in here. Come on, you dirty dog. Oh. There it oh. goes. Right, like that. Perfect. Beautiful, NOS. So we'll just, for good measure. Too good. Should 
A little bit of that juice there. Oh yeah, and that pin. And we need it. Yeah. Right where it's gotta be. Nice fit on the axle between the wishbone. Look at that. That is nice. Look at how good that fits, honey. Just <laughs> fell out. I think it's uh Oh just too good. Yeah, just the guy's fingers aren't uh torqued up enough. Oh yeah. Perfect. These are <laughs> ain't that the way, huh? Yeah, that's yeah. there we are. Good enough for now to get the spring on. Yeah, yeah. Let's flip it over and have a look. I guess you can do that. Yeah. Ah. Alright, we're well on our way. Beautiful. So there it is. Part one of our uh, assembly here. We're going to uh, keep cleaning. Jim's got a bit of cleaning to do. Oh yeah. Uh, and we still got to do the king pins. Yeah, king pins, brakes. And then we can reassemble the whole shooting match and stick it back under the frame. And roll her in. So that's uh, all in a day's work there. We've got our new axle in, wishbones cleaned up, all original paint, NOS perch pins, Look at that, thing of beauty. Beautiful. Well there you have it folks, just like that, the car yeah. will be lowered. Yeah, be nice and uh, yeah, close to the ground, handle probably like a cat on carpet now. And So the, the uh, bit of a pressing <laughs> fiasco is a bit of a, that was a pressing matter for sure. That took yeah, a while. No, that definitely. Uh, and that's always the case. Yeah. It's always the case, nine times out of ten those perch pins are the hardest part of the job. Oh, <laughs> and they're just, uh, yeah, they're miserable because they're just in there. Oh man, they get in there and those have probably been in there since new. Stay tuned for part two, hopefully this week. Thanks for watching folks, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next one. You bet.